Tim Armstrong and Matt Freeman had been playing together in the seminal ska punk band Operation Ivy from 1987 to 1989, when Operation Ivy broke up they decided to form a new band and started a hardcore punk group called Generator which quickly broke up. They also started two other Scott-influenced bands Downfall and Dancehall Crashers, but moved on quickly from both. In 1991 Tim and Matt decided to try starting another band, they recruited drummer Brett Reed and formed Rancid. Rancid's first recorded release was a 1992 EP for Operation Ivy's old label Lookout. Shortly after releasing this, the band was signed to Bad Religion guitarist Brett Gorwitz's label Epitaph Records. Rancid would release their self-titled debut album for Epitaph in 1993. While Rancid was writing for a follow-up album, Green Day's Billy Joe Armstrong a friend of the band joined them to co-write the song Radio, this led to him playing a live show with the band. Tim Armstrong eventually asked Billy Joe to become a member of the band, but he opted to stick with Green Day, Tim had previously asked Lars Fredriksen to be Rancid's second guitarist, but he also turned down the request. After Billy Joe declined, Fredrickson changed his mind and decided to join Rancid. Fredrickson played with the band on 1994's Let's Go, that year their label mates The Offspring experienced a huge success with their album Smash, The Offspring took Rancid on tour with them and helped Let's Go make it to 97 on Billboard's Heatseekers and Billboard 200 charts respectively. With the success of the album the band was pursued by several major labels including Madonna's Maverick Records. The band eventually decided to stay on Epitaph, and the next year released their third album and out come the Wolves, the new album quickly surpassed Let's Go in terms of success. Three of the album's singles Roots Radicals, Time Bomb and Ruby Soho were co-written by friend of the band and former drummer for The Stallions Taylor Ryan and all charted on the North American Billboard Modern Rock Tracks and the band performed two of these songs on Saturday Night Live. After two years of touring for and out come the Wolves, Rancid returned to the studio in 1997 to begin recording their fourth album Life Won't Wait which was released on June 30, 1998. The album branched out from Rancid's previous musical styles and combined punk rock with elements of roots reggae, rockabilly, dub, hip-hop and funk. Due to this it was often compared to The Clash's Sandinista, unfortunately the album was not as successful as and out come the Wolves, but has since garnered a strong cult following in recent times. In 1999 Rancid decided to end their seven-year relationship with Epitaph and signed with Tim Armstrong's Hellcat Records. A second self-titled album was released in 2000 and would be their first release on Hellcat, the album failed to meet the success of Rancid's previous two albums and peaked at number 68 on the Billboard charts. 2002 saw Rancid's three original members release three songs under the name Devil's Brigade, one on the Give Him the Boot 3 compilation, and two on a 12 vinyl record. Also that year all four members of the band played on BYO Split Series Volume 3, a split album with no effects in which Rancid covered no effects songs and no effects covered Rancid songs. After a break from touring in 2001 Rancid returned to the studio with Gorwitz in 2002 to record their sixth album Indestructible which was released on August 19, 2003, it features the hit song Fall Back Down and was Rancid's highest charting album ever peaking at number 15. Despite being produced by Gorwitz, the album was released by Warner Brothers, records making it the band's first and only major label release. In 2004 after a tour for Indestructible Rancid went on an extensive hiatus, the band members spent time working with side projects although they had not officially disbanded. Armstrong continued to play with his side project The Transplants, who released their second album Haunted Cities in 2005. He also contributed guitar and backup vocals on Cypress Hill's hit single What's Your Number from their 10th album Till Death Do Us Part. Fredrickson continued working with his side band Lars Fredrickson and the Bastards and released its second album Viking, in 2004 Tim Armstrong helped produce it. Freeman briefly toured with Social Distortion in 2004 as John Morris' replacement until they found their current bassist Brent Harding.
In early 2006 Rancid would reunite to embark on a successful tour and played several acoustic sets as part of Hellcat Records' Hellcat Nights concert series at the Echo, this was the first time the band had played together since their hiatus. On April 13, 2006 Rancid announced plans for a worldwide tour beginning in July 2006, and the release of a DVD compiling 31 of their music videos as well as a tentative release date of spring 2007 for a new as of yet unnamed studio album. Like many other bands once on the Lookout Records roster, in September 2006 Rancid pulled their self-titled EP from the catalog. On November 3, 2006 Reed left Rancid and was replaced by former used drummer Brandon Steineckert. Steineckert was let go from the used for reasons that have not been made public, but he announced he doesn't feel bitter about it and his new home is with Rancid joining the band permanently, a full blog describing his feelings may be found at Steineckert's MySpace. Armstrong released his much-anticipated solo LP entitled A Poet's Life on May 22, 2007, the disc features 10 songs and the album itself is packaged with a bonus DVD featuring a video for each song on the album. According to new drummer Brandon's MySpace blog, Rancid has finished writing their long-awaited follow-up to Indestructible. This would be their first album without the classic lineup with Brandon Steineckert replacing Brett Reed on drums, the record was written at Brandon's Unknown Studios in Utah and will be recorded in California. In December 2007 it was announced that Rancid would release B-Sides and C-Sides, it is a compilation of songs that have been premiered on the flip side of records and numerous compilations. On February 18, 2008, Punk News reported that Rancid would be touring Japan in April for a handful of shows following their two days headlining the Punk Spring 2008 festival, following the Japanese tour Rancid will also embark on a full-scale US tour during the summer. Rancid will be touring again in the summer with Rise Against, Riverboat Gamblers and Billy Talent through North America, the tour will begin on June 4, 2009 in Vancouver, British Columbia and will end in Toronto, Ontario on July 31. Rancid used to host a one-hour once-a-week XM radio show, the show was called Rancid Radio and was on Fungus Channel 53 Saturday at midnight, however the show has been cancelled due to Fungus 53 being pulled from XM's programming. On March 30, 2009 Punk News reported that Rancid's newest album will be released on June 2, 2009 and will be titled Let the Dominoes Fall, it was also announced that the album was recorded at the Skywalker Sound Studio in Nicasio, California, and features an organ performance from Booker T. Jones, 